Have you just started out in podcasting or are you still waiting to hit that magical thousand download milestone? Look no further. With Lazy Pod Club, our exclusive membership for podcast dreamers and creators, you'll get the inside information and knowledge that you need on achieving your first thousand downloads and beyond. Just $9.99 a month. Unlock unedited guest episodes, changing how-to guides, essential checklists and exclusive masterclasses designed to propel your podcast to success. Join our community where you can connect with me, Verity, host of the Lazy Girls Guide to Podcasting and fellow podcasters. Share your experiences, ask burning questions, and let's celebrate every win, no matter how big or small. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to hit that thousand download milestone and beyond. Visit veritysonggon.com slash membership and let's elevate your podcast together. Just last week, Apple Podcast released the news that they are going to be introducing transcripts on Apple Podcasts, making it easier for anyone to access podcasts. Hello, everybody. I'm Verity. This is the Lazy Girls Guide to Podcasting. Before we get started with this episode, I wanted to give a shout out to Rain, who left me a message on Twitter for one of our previous episodes saying, great episode. Also, I consider myself a lazy boy, so I love your content. Rain, thank you so much for getting in touch and for dropping me that comment. So glad that you consider the content to be useful and that you are enjoying the episode. So thank you so much for getting in touch and letting me know. In this Tech Thursday episode, I am diving into this new feature of transcripts automatically being generated on Apple Podcasts. Now, what I absolutely love about this is that it is right up a lazy girl's street because it provides it being Apple Podcasts will provide you with AI automatically generated transcripts on your episodes for free, which I just love. Not only is it lazy, but it's also free. And we've got to love that. So how is this going to work? Well, I'm going to actually, I've got the podcast, Apple Podcast website right in front of me on my phone. And this little bit, I'm just going to I'm just going to read it verbatim because it really could not be put any clearer exactly how this works. So with transcripts, your audience can read the full text of an episode, search the episode for a specific word or phrase and tap the text to play from that point in the episode. As an episode plays, each word is highlighted, making it easy to follow along. Transcripts can also be accessed from the episode details page. Touch and hold a podcast episode to reveal an option to view a transcript. Apple automatically generates transcripts after a new episode is published. Your episode will be available for listening right away and the transcript will be available shortly afterwards. And later in the page, it actually says that you could be waiting up to 24 hours for the transcript to go live. There will be a short delay whilst we process your transcript. And as I said, it does say around 24 hours. If portions of your episode change with dynamically inserted audio, Apple Podcasts will not generate the segments of the audio that are changed since the original transcript. Music lyrics are not displayed in the transcripts. This is currently only going to be available on iOS 17.4 and higher and in the languages of English, French, German, and Spanish. And currently, this is only going to apply to any new episodes that you publish going forward. However, Apple Podcasts does say that over time, it will be working on creating these transcripts for your back catalogue of episodes. It doesn't say how long this will be. It just says over time. So I don't know whether or not that's going to be in like up to a year, if that's going to be over a few months, I really don't know. But I have to say, I do really like this feature. I think that this is really cool. If you are somebody in particular who has not started going down the transcript route for your episodes. Now, if you are already paying a service or already get transcriptions for your episodes, then this is potentially not going to actually affect you at all, or it's going to be a feature that you're probably not going to bother with. I'm not going to bother with it as a feature, and I'll come on to that in a little little bit. But if you are somebody who you are not creating transcripts for your episodes, then you don't really need to do anything except for log on to your Apple Connect account, accept the new terms and conditions because your settings will automatically be set that your episodes will be automatically transcribed by Apple Podcasts once the 
uh, once the episode goes live. So as I said, it will take, according to Apple Podcasts themselves, up to 24 hours for that for that transcript to go live. But I think that's really, really cool that if you just don't have the energy or the want or the will or whatever, it will do it for you. Now, I did say that this is going to be a feature that I'm not bothering with in the short term. I probably will at some point or another run a little bit of an experiment on this. I'd be interested to know how effective the, um, you know, the actual transcript is and how accurate it is. You'll know that I use Summarize for my transcripts. And personally, I have found Summarize to produce more accurate transcripts than Descript. Now I will caveat that and say I haven't used Descript in about nine to 12 months now. So in all fairness, that could have been overtaken. That was just my personal experience. So I will probably run a little experiment at some point just to see what the quality of the transcription is like, just to, as a bit of a comparison. However, at the moment, I use Summarize, as I said, I pay for Summarize, I get my transcripts through Summarize. So I just use those. The other reason why I'm not going to be too fussed about using this feature as well is because I've got a large amount of my audience that doesn't use Apple Podcasts to listen to this podcast. So I know that I've got something like 40 five-ish percent of my listeners who will access Lazy Girls Guide to Podcasting through Apple Podcasts. But that then means that I've got up to 55% of my listenership who are listening through Spotify primarily is the second biggest, but then other podcasting apps and platforms after that or on the internet, you know, through my website or what have you. So because of that, I am still going to be uploading my transcripts that I generate from Summarize to my hosting platform, and then they will be going out on the RSS feed with my with my episodes. One of the cool things about the Apple Podcast transcriptions is that once the transcription has gone live, once Apple Podcast has generated that transcription, the website does say that you will be able to download that transcription. So then in all fairness, if you wanted to, you could then download that transcription, copy paste it, whatever, go across to your podcast host platform. And as long as they support having transcripts, you could upload that transcript to your hosting platform, and then it will push the transcript out with your episode via the RSS feed. Now, personally, I'm not going to bother with that because that is just it, it just seems like an extra step for me. And for me, that's a little bit pointless. As I said, I'm getting my transcripts when I go into Summarize to get all of that content anyway. So for me, it doesn't make sense for my workflow to go into Apple Podcasts, get the transcription, download it, go back to my um, my hosting platform where I've already published the episode, replay with like, you know, the back end of things to put the transcript in and then have the RSS feed to push out again. To me, that's just like an extra step. However, if you are somebody who you want to dabble in using transcripts, or maybe you're somebody who the vast majority of your listenership is on Apple Podcasts, or even if you just want to, you know, use free trans or free transcription service and you're not that bothered about the additional step, then that is really useful to know, I think, that you can get your episode transcribed by Apple Podcasts, download that. Like I said, you do have to wait up to 24 hours, the website says, but then you can download the transcription and then put it on your RSS feed. And the other cool thing about that is then you could also put it through something like ChatGPT to generate show notes. Like I said, the only backward bit about that is that you are going to have to do that like a day or two after the episode has actually gone live. But if that doesn't really bother you, then, you know, that could be something that you that you look at doing. So on that note, as I said, it's not going to be a feature that I'm using at the moment. However, I do think that it is going to be a fab feature for all of you lazy girls out there. I am going to put a link to the website to the official web page on Apple Podcasts down in the show notes for this information because then if you wanted like me to switch off this setting then it has instructions as to how to do it it's really really easy I did it in like 20 seconds it was so so easy so 
I'll put that link down in the show notes. And equally, if you just want to explore this new feature of Apple Podcasts of putting transcripts on your Apple Podcast episodes, then you can dive into that a little bit more. I hope that you have enjoyed another Tech Thursday episode. Make sure that you hit those five stars, give us a five star review. You know, I always appreciate it. It's been great to spend time with you as ever, and I will see you next episode. Happy podcasting. Hey, wait, don't go just yet. If you are still waiting to hit that thousand download milestone and beyond, remember the Lazy Pod Club is where podcast dreams come to life. Visit veritysongcon.com slash membership and I cannot wait to see you on the inside.